Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali and in today's video, we'll see what is the relevance of using factor expression in data management in PBCS application. So the factor expression is used to factor source file amounts by user defined values. This type of expression enables you to scale file data by any numeric factor. Using this expression, you can double or half data. The factor is expressed as factor where the value is user-defined whole or dec decimal number by which to multiply your data. The import expression is entered in the expression field for the amount source column. Let me show you my data file, which I'm going to load. So this is my data file in which I have account, entity, amount, product, period and year. And this is the small table in which I have shown this will be the factor value which I'm going to use 10% and this will be the expected output. It means that this is our source data file. In this the amount will get multiplied by a factor value and it will result in expected output of these. Okay, so 50,000 will get multiplied by 10% will result in 5,000. 4,000 will get multiplied by 10% and will result in 400 and amount 650 will get multiplied by 10% and will this will result in 650.2 amount. So this table is just for our understanding. It should not be, this table should not be in our data file. Okay, so let's go to the application. From here, we go to navigator click on data management under integration. So we go to setup and register our source system. My source system is file. I've already registered this. Next, we'll click on target application and res register it as well. So my target application is FCT underscore vision. Next, we go to import format. See, these are the initial steps which I have already done to save our time. This is the import format. We create import, import format over here. So FCT underscore IMF is my import format. In this, I have used the source as file, target as FCT underscore vision, which I've already created in target application. In file type, I have used delimited numeric data. And after doing this, we click on save. And then next is doing mappings. This is the most important part of our discussion. In this, first, let me explain you about the factor value, how to use this, because everything else is same. So while mapping amount, uh, since our in our data file, we have amount column in it is in third column, amount is in third column. So while mapping, I have given the field number as three and in expression, I have used factor equals to 0 0.10. So how to do that? Click on add expression. In expression type, choose factor and in expression value, we provide the expression. Okay, so I have given here 0 0.10. And rest everything is same like component does not exist in my data file so i have mapped it with another field number like account i have mapped it with account given the field number one and in hardcore mapping in expression i have given no component similarly employee also does not exist in our in our data file so i have given here the field number as one and in expression no employee with HSP view also the same thing and with version also we have done the same thing. We have given mapping for all other dimension members for period it is five as it period lies in column number fifth. Year lies in col column number six. So I have given all the mappings here. I have added currency row over here and given the expression USD. Next we click on save. And then next we move to location and create the location. So FCT underscore LOC is our location. If you want to create a new location, we click on add and provide the details. So this is the name of our location. This is the import format and the target. 
So after doing this, we go to period mapping and under source mapping, choose your correct source file. In this, we add since our data file is for three periods from January to March for the year 2021. So in this, I have provided all the three periods, January, February, and March, and GLERS 2021, and also the calendar here. All right, after doing this, click on save, and straight away go to workflow tab. Click on data load mapping, and choose the correct location first, because if we don't choose the correct location, the data is, the data load will be not successful. So FCT underscore LOC is our location. Choose the correct period. And click on OK. All right. So I have done the mapping, like mapping for all the dimensions. Account, component for employee. I have explicitly mentioned here the target value. Entity, HSP view. This is my product for all the dimension members I have used like mapping. So after we are done with data load mapping in the correct location, we go to data load rule, which is the most important part. We click on add and create a new data load rule. So I've already created one. This is FCT underscore DLT. Categories, current period mapping type is explicit. Provide your import format. Provide the plan type here. Provide the calendar over here and we can select it from this table. Okay, and in file name, by choosing your file, you can upload this. All right, so save this information. And when we execute our data load rule, we'll see our data data is successfully loaded. So I've already done that. So let's go to workbench and see it. So as we can see here, we have three golden fishes over here, which means that our data is successfully loaded. But this is for only one period, January 2021. If you want to see whether our data load rule is successful or not for other periods, we can click on location and change the period Click on OK. So this is also successful. We can see here the source amount. We'll also validate it with our smart view. Let's check for March. So it is also successful March as well. But let's check whether this amount and our expected output is similar or not. So in my data file, I have already told you the output should be this amount, okay? So for first, it should be 50,000 multiplied by 10%, which is 5,000. So let's see in our data management whether this is the amount or not. Click on okay. All right, so as we can see here, the expected output matches with our data management. All right. And similarly, we can check for other periods. So I've already made the smart view of it. We can check it from here. So this is my expected output sheet. This should, uh, these should be the amounts. Let's check in our smart view whether this is same or not. So for January, it should be 5,000, which gets validated. For February, the amount should be 400. So here it is 400. And for March, it should be 650. So as we can see here, 650. There's some rounding off difference. All right. So this is how we use factor expression in data management. That's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.